nailed it like a boss. It's uh, windy out here. Me and Abby coming out for round number three yeah. today. Three. Round number three today is the Hazelton Pitch and Putt Disc Golf Course. My intermediate advanced amateur, as in advanced beginner status. Started off good, below par, then bombed it in the wind. It's all good. She's embarrassed that I'm talking to my phone with people watching. I don't care. Like, 100,000 views on this video, right, people? So, what do you think of that destroyer in the blizzard plastic that you've been throwing? Like it. Like it. Oh, I like it. So today I've been consistently hitting 300 feet. I'm stoked. That's a lot for me. Flick the midget. Flick the midget. Flick the midget. Oh, sorry. Flick the short person. Seriously? The dwarf. Okay. Hole number one. So. The pitch and putt, Hazelton, 170 feet. I parked it earlier, which is good for me because I'm not that accurate. So of course you pros can use a putter, and you like pitch, push putt it in. I can't, so Disc Mania, S-Line PD Freak. It, it would have been a little closer too if it wasn't for that tree branch. Hey, um, good news by the way. 15 minutes saved me 20 bucks on my car insurance. <laughs> Woo! Hey, if you think me talking to the phone embarrassed Abby, wait and watch this. La, la, la. <laughs> So my infinite disc, we're gonna do a review on this on the bag. I love the bag, but the cheap plastic hardware snaps, cracks, pops, like Rice Krispies. <laughs> the rest of the bag is awesome. But that's a good cereal, like four or five stars it on pop, it. But it's we're still going good. to hold number two like, after I drop my putt in. Oh wait, I think I passed mine. Oh yeah, it's like a mile back. <laughs> La 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 la. She's stuck behind a tree. Oh, you almost owed me a beer again. <laughs> we are okay. Oh, really, people? Ooh. That's okay. I got power. It'll go in. It'll go in. Mm. Hey, if you got a disc golf addiction, thumbs up this video. Put a thumbs up. Ah, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Now, I know I'm only a foot from it, but we're going to look like a pro. I could stand like this for all day until I fall over. <laughs> You're doing the flamingo. Here. You want the wizard? Yeah. We need a second wizard. The aviators we got are way too light. In oh, like Flynn. Slow This hole, we got a little crosswind going on. 
A little bit of a wind. This one, 252 feet. Now I know you guys would park this one, make a run on the basket every time. I'm not there yet. This is the first course we ever played disc golf on. When we started off, we were both like, Yay, it went 10 feet. <laughs> but now we moved up. This thing, I can five putt this. Okay. La 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 la. Ready? La 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 la. Okay. Right now we got a lot of wind, so we're sharing this 175 gram wizard. Oh! Nailed it like a boss. The 140 gram AVRs would have been like a mile away from here. I'm way better than I used to be. Go. This one's one of my favorite ones. It's the Destroyer Blizzard. And this one is my favorite. Not really man enough for it yet, but the Innova Daedalus G Star Plastic. Oh, this one's Big Daddy. Gosh. Did it go over the fence? It went over the Watch my dad run. Watch this. <laughs> Not all the way, all the way, but most of it. So. Although it's a pigeon putt, one of the hazards we have are skunks. I mean, it's pretty fun to disc golf. This is why I lose weight playing disc golf. Over, over there, there's a field, and he went back and forth because it kept going like like a mile into the field. It was pretty funny. I mean, I threw a small. That was our last round of the day, the second round. This is our third. And are you gonna restart? Nope. Wait for work went out of 
Where did I go out of bounds at? Uh, up here. Okay, dad's gonna shoot now. Okay, old Walkery DX. Beat in. Well, had the right angle, not near enough speed. Yeah, still pretty good. Okay, my disc right there. He almost bounced that into my cojones. <laughs> Earlier I made like two really, really good putts. I kind of last year and oh my goodness. I kind of demonstrate them. Okay guys, we're not gonna film every hole, every shot. Um, just gonna put together a mixture stuff, put it together, show you the joys of disc golf. Woot woot. Hey look at the sun, ah, I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Hole seven at the Hazelton Disc Golf Course, 274 feet. We have about an 11 mile an hour crosswind. Once again, I'm going to be throwing the S line freak from Disc Mania. This here is the one I usually use in the wind. I suck though, but I'm going to throw this bitch 300 yards. And somebody else that's throwing a disc they shouldn't be. <laughs> Abigail! I'm throwing me. 171 gram in of a Daedalus. Yeah. AKA known as Big Daddy. And we had the nose up like a 747 on takeoff. Once again, I'm coming out in the farmer's field to get my disc. I really hope he doesn't plant corn this year because I spend more time out here in the farmer's field than the farmer probably does. The wind always seems to be blowing the same direction out here in Hazleton too. It's a lot of fun though. Although it's just a pitch and putt, hey, we're still new to the sport and you never have to fight traffic out here. It's like throw what you want when you want we're the only people hucking every time but gail attempting a tomahawk first time ever whoa you underhanded that that was like a 
Underhawk? Underhawk? What is that? I don't know. It's something weird. Oh, that was actually my real disc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay to throw multiple discs from here because, like, we're the only ones playing. Okay. We're rolling. Hole number eight, 308 feet. Stanley Hay Company. Thank you, Stanley Hay Company. <laughs> Not the best place I've heard that. Oh, I fought the crosswind and I won. Okay. Here is Daniel Canfield. What's up, man? Now. That's like the only tractor we have. Big the only damage. time I can throw 400 feet is if it's going to hit an innocent person. <laughs> Not really. Oh, and okay. stand by, dude. What, what are those called? Okay. Will Shoestreak, I know, would have probably parked that thing. If not, tag the chains. I'll take that though. Um, when I first started it, when I hit 75 feet for a shot, I was like, ooh, yeah. And now I'm consistently hitting 270, 280, 290. Now my accuracy has gone down with distance, but I'm working on accuracy with my mid range. And I can four putt almost any hole. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> so, in your bag, you got to carry a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, now, I've lost like 25, 28, 30 pounds. I started disc golfing. If I quit drinking soda pop, dude, I'm going to get down in good shape. But you never know what's going to happen. So, you just got to kind of come prepared for anything, you know? Because disc golfing. I see sometimes I lose my disc and it takes me like all night to find it, so I just like to come prepared. Oh, no. uh. uh, uh, uh. I don't know why you're why the people around here always give me weird looks, you know? It's like uh, I brought a pen to keep track of the score, but. It doesn't really work on my iPhone very well. Just praying to the disc golf gods. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. Oh, look. Little turd. I gotta brush my teeth again. How you doing? Pretty good. Jeez. So we've been out here like forever and there's like a jogger and a walker. That's it. It's quiet out here. Dog bite. <laughs> uh.